Good morning everyone, it's Jelani. The morning scripture came from Proverbs chapter 16 verse 7, but we'll read the entire chapter. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, our Father, who art in heaven, we reverence you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We give you thanks for another day that you have allowed us to exist here in this life. And in this existence, there is much to be thankful for, Lord. For not only that you do sustain us and you bless us, but you are, you have created us. We exist. And this is something to be thankful for and for all those who are questioning their existence, why am I here? What is the purpose of my life? Why do I need to be here? Anyone that's struggling with that thought this morning, Lord Jesus, I just want to pray for them to know that they were and they are fearfully and wonderfully, beautifully made by a good creator who have and had and has all good intention for those who he has created because as the word have said he take no this no pleasure in the destruction of even the wicked and as it said again you created us for your pleasure give good pleasure at that and even from the beginning you have testified to show that all things were made very good when everything was completed so, Lord, I just want to pray that anyone that is struggling with um, self-worth or self-identity, why, who they are, I just pray that they go to the source, the creator of us all, to ask and to seek what is it we ought to be doing in this life. And in so doing, when you do reveal it unto us, I just pray that we abide in your good acceptable perfect and holy will because this is the only way that we are going to fulfill our purpose this is the only way that we are going to be fully complete and whole as a created being and that fully that 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 completion is only found in you lord jesus christ who completes us so i thank you for this knowledge and i pray that this knowledge be granted to all those who seek it lord that you continue to help us in this life to face any test and trial knowing that this also the purpose of this is to refine us to make us into that true man that true woman in which you have or what you had created or had intention from our creation so lord keep us strong in it keep us our minds focused on consulting you for instruction in all things being led by your holy spirit and lord i just want to pray as always that you continue to nurture also the youth with this knowledge so they also may not be living in despair that they may not be living without hope but that they will have full assurance that they were created by the almighty god to reflect his image his true light which is found in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Lord, continue to help those who are in charge of the youth also, whether it be parents, guardians, loved ones, or anyone. Just use us, Lord, who are yours, to nurture up and grow up the, the next generation in the way that they should go, so that when they're of age, they shall never depart from you. And as always, Lord, I want to pray for the sustainment and the promotion of godly, God-fearing marriages also. That you continue to lead us in that way to glorify you here in this earth, even to your pleasure, Lord. Because we know that these things bring you pleasure and this is what we want to do, is to live out these days how few or how many they may be, live out these days pleasing you in everything as you have taught us, Lord Jesus Christ. To the glory of God, our Heavenly Father, we pray. 
Amen. So, Proverbs 16. Right? I said, I'll read the whole chapter because I haven't read it as yet. So, 16. The preparations of the heart in man and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes, but the Lord weighs the spirits. Mm, we're talking about testing spirits yesterday, isn't it? Was it yesterday? I think so. Yeah, yesterday. Um, three, commit thy works unto the Lord and thy thoughts shall be established. Amen. Oh, that one's for me this morning. Yeah, verse three. Verse four, the Lord hath made all things for himself. Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. And as we just was praying, he doesn't take pleasure in the destruction of the wicked. But he's still a just God. And he will punish the wicked and reward the good. Right? So, verse 5. Everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Though hand join in hand, he shall not be unpunished. By mercy and truth. Amen. Iniquity is purged. And by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. Have I read this recently? Because this mercy and truth always... It wasn't this one I read. I'm not sure. When a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. Better is a little with righteousness than great revenues without right. A man's heart deviseth his way, but the Lord directeth his steps. Amen. A divine sentence is in the lips of the king. His mouth transgresseth not in judgment. A just weight and a balance are the Lord's. All the weights of the bag are his work. It is an abomination to kings to commit wickedness, for the throne is established by righteousness. Righteous lips are the delight of kings. And they love him that speaketh right. The wrath of a king is as messengers of death, but a wise man will pacify it. In the light of the king's countenance is life, and his favor is as a cloud of the latter rain. How much better is it to get wisdom than gold, and to get understanding rather to be to be chosen than cho rather to be chosen than silver? The highway of the upright is to depart from evil. He that keepeth his way pre preserveth his soul. Pride goeth before destruction and an haughty spirit before a fall. Better is it, it is to be of an humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. He that handleth the matter wisely shall find good. And whoso trusteth in the Lord, happy is he. Amen. The wise in heart shall be called prudent, and the sweetness of the lips increaseth learning. Understanding is a wellspring of life unto him that hath it, but the instruction of fools is folly. The heart of the wise teacheth his mouth, and addeth learning to his lips. Pleasant words are as a honeycomb, sweet to the soul, and health to the bones. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. He that laboreth, laboreth for himself, for his mouth craveth it of him. An ungodly man diggeth up evil, and in his lips there is as, as a burning fire. A froward man, let's read that again, 27. An ungodly man diggeth up evil, and in his lips there is as a burning fire. Amen. A froward man soweth strife, and a whisperer separateth chief friends. A violent man enticeth his neighbor and leadeth him into the way that is not good. He shutteth his eyes to despise forward things. Moving his lips, he bringeth evil to pass. The hoary head is a crown of glory, if it, is be, if it be found in the way of righteousness. Amen. He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty, 
and he that ruleth his spirit, and he that taketh his a city. The lot is cast into the lap, but the whole disposing thereof is of the Lord. Amen. Daily dose of wisdom. And if we read these Proverbs every week, every month, every, it doesn't matter. It, it's applicable for it. times in our lives, isn't it? For, for me at least. So I'll leave it at that this morning. Anything that you want to share as always, drop it in the comment section or send it into the word at eachreachone.org. And as much as the Lord has led me, taught me and kept me over the years, I will answer them according to his word, according to his principles, according to his will being led by his Holy Spirit. So have a blessed day, everyone, and God's willing, we'll catch up again tomorrow.